Hello, good morning. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I've already finished filming and I realized that I never addressed this when filming, but this eye is red. Hopefully you can't see it in the video, but if you can, that's why there's no pain, there's no itchiness. I just have a red eye for some reason and it has been that way for three days. And I've already waited until today to start filming the video because I didn't want my eye to be red, but I need to get a video up and I just can't wait any longer because I don't know how long it's gonna last. So. Just letting you know, if it's red, that's why, and I am sorry, but I couldn't do anything about it. There has been a trend going around YouTube recently where people are reading assumptions about them and either saying if they're true or if they're not, like, debunking them. A lot of YouTube trends I think are kind of weird, but this one I think is really cool. So I'm going to be doing this today. I rarely ever promote my Instagram, like I think I've done it in one other video before, but I have an Instagram surprise um you can follow me it's on the screen you should definitely follow me because i ask you all about things for my videos i ask you to say things that will help me in my videos or ask you for video ideas and try my best to post good pictures try my best to post on my story so i think you should definitely go follow me there and yeah um so this time i asked everyone to send in an assumption about me and now i'm just gonna go through them and tell you if your assumptions are right or if they're wrong first i'm gonna do the ones that are easier and faster that don't take much time and then i'll get into the ones that i'm gonna speak more on i got quite a lot so thank you if you sent one in i'm gonna start from the bottom and just look at the ones that i think i either got the most or are most interesting favorite color is blue no my favorite color is actually yellow this is my favorite color. Um, yeah, I like yellow. You were dating someone. No. That I'm 18. No, I'm only 16. That I prefer Adidas over Nike, and I think they're just saying that because in the picture that I posted I was wearing some Adidas sweats, and I don't prefer one brand over the other. I don't know. I have things from both brands. I'm really not a big brand person. I don't really care. As long as I like the piece of clothing. Um, you're very tall. No. Okay, I'm average. I'm 5'5" which is like the average height for a female, but I've always wanted to be tall and I feel like that's partly because I just like the look of being tall and then also my family on both sides are way above average height. So my whole life I assumed and everyone else assumed that I was just gonna be above average, but I'm not and I haven't grown in three years so I don't see that happening. I always thought I was gonna be 5'10", 5'11", cause that's how tall my mom is and then my dad is 6'3". Everyone in my family's tall both sides. Somehow I'm not. I don't know what happened. Okay, these two are kind of complete opposites. One of them is all your friends are vegan and that is a complete no. I have one vegan friend and she lives eight hours away. So the answer to that is no. And then the next one is you wish you had more vegan friends. And yeah, of course, obviously it's nice to have that in common with other people, but it's not like if I meet someone and they're not vegan. That means I would have one friend that lives eight hours away if I only were friends with vegan people. You're very independent. I would definitely say yes to this one. Um, I like to do a lot of things on my own and uh, I know that asking for help is like a, it's a good thing, but I don't like to do that. I, at least, okay, I'll try to do everything that I can on my own and then I'll ask for help if it's necessary, but I'd rather just do it myself. And um, I'm only 16, so obviously I'm not moving out yet, but like I feel like if for some reason I had to move out right now I feel like I'm independent enough to be able to do that and like I am self-motivated enough to be able to do that Like I would be able to get things done and just yeah, I don't know that I did slash do some type of dance and gymnastics and yeah I mean I was maybe like three or four I did tap and ballet and then from like four to nine or ten I did acrobatics and yeah, I mean, I was never really, really good because then I gave that up and started soccer. Well, I actually did that in soccer at the same time, but then I got like really into soccer and I didn't have enough time. And then I ended up stopping soccer and moving on to running, which that brings me to the next one. And that is you miss running and um, more than anything, yes. Um, and I still get a lot of questions about this and everything surrounding it and my back and I still have really not addressed it at all. Said things very briefly about it and even right now I'm not talking much about it. But that is just because in February in like a couple weeks I will have an entire video all about this. Um, it's probably going to be decently long. I don't know. A lot of people want to hear it and I want to share it with you all. So stay tuned for that. Um, the next one, a lot of people put this and they said 
you're popular, which I feel like popular has a negative connotation, especially one of them had like the rolling eyes emoji. Um, I would say no to that. And I don't go to public school anymore, so I guess popularity, I mean, I guess it could still be a thing, but not as much as it would be in public school, but even when I did go to public school, I'd say no, not at all. I don't know if that's just the truth. Just, I don't know why people think that, or I don't know, why does it have such a negative connotation? Is it popular? Is it just that, just like associated with being mean because of stereotypes in movies? I don't know. Next one is that you want to pursue what? The next one is that you want to pursue YouTube and entrepreneurship and being your own boss as your career and the answer is uh, most definitely yes. I am working every single day to achieve that and uh, I think it can happen. This next one I got a decent amount too and that is that I only eat very healthy foods and I am scared of anything that's not healthy. Um, I don't know. I get people messaging me or I don't know. No, I do not only eat healthy foods. You can watch my what I eat in a days because I have a lot of those. Mainly, I do eat healthy foods, but I feel like that's what you should be doing. I don't have an issue with food because I eat mainly healthy foods because I want to live as long and as healthy and as happy as I can. You should be eating good foods to nourish your body. I'm not afraid of unhealthy foods. No, not at all. Trust me. And I love the healthy foods that I do eat. I'm excited to have a smoothie bowl and excited to have, like, today for lunch, I just got these new, like, tortilla wrap things and I'm going to fill it with, like, avocado and greens and kidney beans and these roasted veggies that I have. And even though it's a healthy meal, like, I'm still looking forward to it because it sounds good to me and that's food that I enjoy to eat. So, yes, for the most part, I do mainly eat unprocessed foods. But that doesn't mean that I don't eat chocolate because I have a bag of these dairy-free like M&M things that I've been eating a lot for the past week at a popsicle last night. You don't like gory movies or TV shows. Um, I feel like there's two reasons that people could think this and that is one, I am vegan. So I obviously like don't support killing or don't like that. I mean, mm, nobody, I feel like nobody likes killing but if you're purchasing meat, then I don't know. Okay. But obviously I'm really against that. And then the second is that I do have a story time on my channel about the times that I've passed out due to blood. I think I posted it last May. And that was when I first started. I don't really like that video. I could redo it, but nah. Yeah, I have hemophobia, which is a phobia of blood. And I pass out at the side of it, thought of it. The two times that I have passed out because of it, I never actually saw blood. One of them, we were talking about hemophiliacs in biology class and I passed out in the middle of the class. And the other time I was in English class, I looked at my hand and my veins were a little bit popped out more than normal and I passed out looking at my own hand. I doubt there's anyone else in the world that has passed out looking at their own hand, but I don't know, I'm weird. I feel like those are the two reasons that people could think that, but actually my favorite genre of movies is horror and thriller. One of my favorite movies ever is Saw. And that is like one of the most gory movies ever. Whenever I watch a really good movie that I like, I write it down in my notes. My favorite movies are, these are not in any particular order, but I like Saw, The Belko Experiment, Get Out, Don't Breathe, Split, The Village, and Searching. 95% of those have blood. But the thing is, I actually can't watch those parts. And the weird thing, okay, I don't wanna talk about this for too long, but the weird thing about hemophobia is that a lot of people, if they have like a phobia of spiders or something like that, when they see a spider, they freak out. When I see blood, I don't freak out. Like, I just see blood, but like, my body wants to pass out. It's so hard to explain, and I know it makes no sense if you don't feel it. Definitely majority of people have no idea what I'm talking about and can't relate. But, yeah, I can't really watch the part. I mean, I watch as much as I can, and then once I start to feel weak, and lose feeling in my hands and my legs and uh, get dizzy, then I have to stop watching. Just for that part, and then I watch when the gory goes away. There's one that I read yesterday and um, I can't find it, but it said that I hate friends. I don't know why. Do they mean to put that I have friends? Did they accidentally put like T instead of V? I don't know. Hate friends? No. I don't know, no, I can't find it. Maybe they deleted it. Or maybe I just missed it. But the next one is that I think 70 degrees is cold weather. And I wouldn't say I think 70 is cold, but like, ooh, I need to go turn off the heater because this is going to be too loud. I thought 
I turned it off, but now it came back on. We just got this new heater, and I don't understand it. Oh, it's 11-11. Make a wish. Okay. I think I turned it off. I'm not really sure, though. What was I talking about? Okay. I think I was talking about weather. I don't think that 70 is cold, but... Maybe like 60 to 65 is cold. A couple weeks ago, I was in Arizona, and I was outside when it was 33 degrees. That is so cold for me. And I know to some people, that's good right now, and I'm, the only thing in my defense is that I'm used to warmer weather. So to me, 33 will seem as cold as like something else that's colder to you. That didn't make sense. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. Like 60 to 65 is cold. You are going to raise your future kids vegan, and that is, yeah. A lot of people would say that you aren't giving them the choice, but that is the same for what every other parent does for their kids. Parents raise their kids in how they live their life, and then once they're old enough to make a decision to change that, they can. I was raised non-vegan. I didn't have a choice until I was older. Or some people are raised in a certain religion that they don't have a choice. That's just how parents raise their children. They raise them the way that they live. I'm not going to be vegan cooking my own vegan meals and then cooking them some cheese pizza. Once they are old enough to make a decision, I'm not gonna like force them to stay vegan, but I'm going to raise them that way. <laughs> Thumbnails are so weird. Then okay. there's some in another language, I don't know how to read that. That I'm always happy? No. I am no one person is happy 100% of the time. I'm definitely happy most of the time, for sure, without a doubt. But people put what they want on social media. I feel like people know that, but just wanna let you know. Oh my gosh, why did I do that? My skin turns so red whenever I itch it. Oh my gosh. I just made my cheek all red. That's annoying. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay, I'll the next one a lot that I love animals. Okay, and this is gonna be weird to talk about, but I've thought about this a lot. This is probably gonna be the last one. I don't know how to put this. Yeah, I love animals. I mean, I love my dog, of course. I think that animals are cute, and obviously, I don't eat them or their products, so I... I love them, but I wouldn't say that, like, I'm a crazy animal lover. Like, I have friends that when they see a dog, like someone walking a dog, they have to run up and go pet the dog. Okay, these are my knees. That looks weird. Um, I'm not that way. I don't know, I just, I, sure. Like if I don't have a pet when I'm older, like cause of course right now if I'm living with my family, I do have a dog. Um, If I don't have a pet when I'm older, like I won't, I don't think I'll be that like crazy mad. I don't know. Okay, I think I'm just vegan because I don't think it's right to kill animals when you can get all the nutrients from plants. But I'm not a crazy animal lover, if that makes any sense. Am I making sense? Maybe not, I don't know. I'm vegan for the ethical side, but I'm not like a crazy animal. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna, maybe you understand what I mean and maybe you don't. And uh, yeah, I don't really know how to put it. That's it for this video. I hope that you learned more about me. It's kind of like a fun version of a and a and I like that. And yeah, make sure to go follow me on Instagram if you wanna participate in more of these things. And I don't know what I'm saying anymore. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video, which is going to be a fun one. <laughs>